Si eres de los que se quedó con un sabor de boca horrible cuando supimos de todos los personajes que no íbamos a volver a ver gracias a Thanos en el final de Avengers Endgame, esta noticia te interesa porque ya llega a Disney Plus WandaVision, la nueva serie de Marvel que cuenta la historia de Wanda, la bruja escarlata, interpretada por Elizabeth Olsen y Vision, interpretado por Paul Bettany, cuando deciden vivir su romance y vivir como una familia normal en una pequeña ciudad llamada Westview. Esta serie tiene nueve episodios, cada uno de ellos hace referencia a las comedias de situación de Estados Unidos y lo va haciendo a través de las décadas, empezando en los 50, así que cada episodio vas descubriendo cosas nuevas y todo el aspecto visual cambia completamente. Tuve la oportunidad de platicar con Paul Bettany, Elizabeth Olsen, Matt Shackman y el elenco de esta serie. ¿Quieres saber qué es WandaVision? No te despegues de este especial de película. What's a single gal like you doing rattling around this big house? Well, I assure you, I'm married to a man, a human one. One. What's it, baby? It's a very unusual uh, genre and it's a very unusual format. And I was wondering if you got yourself to, to do some things and see Vision doing things that you never thought you would see on screen. Oh my God, yes. Uh, I, I was terrified of the whole thing, I mean, When I found out that we were going to shoot the first episode in front of a live studio audience, I really dug my heels in. I didn't, I did not want to do it. I, I was, uh, I hadn't been in front of a live audience for 20 years and, and I was nervous and uh, they, but they insisted and it was absolutely the right decision um, because you, You, you see in those shows that they, they they pitch to somebody that is beyond the camera somehow and it has a it has a very different quality the acting and uh, and i think it was really helpful I, i think it is great i think you did a great job <laughs> and you know this is ultimately a story about two unusual people who have to fit in in the regular world and it kind of led me to think that you kind of have an unusual job as well so i want to ask yeah. you what has been the hardest part of fitting in in this you know hollywood industry being a movie star I think, <laughs> um, I think a lot of things. I think I think we all, especially with technology today and um, the birth of social media, our comparing brains work a little bit too much. And I think we do a lot of comparing um, to what others are doing. Um, and so I think that's been a genuine challenge of trying to remember, which I think kind of oddly this whole time in the pandemic when everyone had to experience the same thing at the same time for those first couple of months without figuring out work and things. Um, we all just kind of had to settle into ourselves again. And, um, and so I think that was, that was kind of this nice reminder um, at that kind of weird still moment in time. But um, that's a challenge, I think, is just shutting that thing off so that you can just keep going with your path. Jennifer and I live really quiet lives um, and have done, we've been married for 18 years. <laughs> and so we're very, uh, which in Hollywood is like 200 years, you know, so it's like dog years or something. But we, we, um, we really, we keep a very low profile, you know, and, and so it's been, It only gets weird sometimes, you know, it gets weird if you want to go to a beach and, and, uh, and you want to, you want you, you know, you want to be there with your kids and people are taking pictures. That's weird. What side of this character did you get to explore? And also as an actress, what did you get to explore uh, from your talent in, in WandaVision? Um, I think that thing that I, I got, that I really enjoyed getting to play with, with Wanda specifically was, um, her humor and charm. And I feel like she's, the, the way she is um, utilized in the MCU for the films, she's, she's usually like a, a grounded emotional force dealing with something pretty um, traumatic and is like an emotional color for the films. And this time I got to play all the colors. And so that was just fantastic to make her 
charm, make her charming, make her funny, make her mysterious. En WandaVision, a pesar de tener un formato muy particular como es el de las sitcoms, también nos encontramos con las características esenciales del universo cinematográfico de Marvel, es decir, huevos de pascua, referencias a películas anteriores e incluso diálogos que aluden a personajes que ya conocemos. Y por supuesto, en todo este universo nos encontramos con algunos personajes nuevos en la pantalla chica que no necesariamente sabemos cuál va a ser su desenlace, pero que lo vamos a descubrir en WandaVision. Howdy, neighbors. Hey, buddy. You actually got the chance to somehow experience what it was like to do television back then. Is there something you wish they were still doing nowadays? I, uh, well, uh, okay, yeah. So uh, in one of the episodes, you know, it was black and white. I'm sorry, I'm trying to think what I can say. It was black and white. And so I thought that was really cool how even though it's black and white, it still matters like the shades of color you wear and how your makeup sits because it is still a different uh, a different depth, a different texture for the black and white. So I thought that was pretty cool and interesting to, um, to play with. Um, yeah. <laughs> How does someone like you approach a project like this? Like, how do you get ready for that? Do you have to watch sitcoms, previous sitcoms? Is it just to get like, uh, stick to the script? And also, how do you get your actors ready for this? Because it cannot be easy. No, not easy at all. But, you know, research was was key for everybody. Um, uh, you know, I just delved into watching tons of old episodes, even pulling old prints of the episodes so that I could watch them and see what the original intentions were. Because so many of these old shows, we, we watch them on DVDs that are, you know, who knows if they're faithful to the way they really were supposed to look. So we looked at old prints. We, we read books about the making of. We talked to people who actually worked on the shows um, and just tried to get as much much experience and information as we could. And then the actors, we had a thing we called sitcom, sitcom boot camp, where we kind of got together, spent a couple of weeks just watching tons of shows and, and, and studying how comedy changes and how performance styles change over time. So I want to know, how does someone like you who has been on set all day goes back home and who do you talk to? Like, do, are you even allowed to talk to anyone in your life and, and at least kind of like let that weight go? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Did, do you yeah, get to read honestly, we didn't need to really i mean my you know there was no real need to like my um you know uh, uh, we ju we just played uh, we just in our you know in our minds as actors like we just played the play forward like we just kept kept moving forward in these decades so it, di it didn't feel like um and luckily in my life i didn't have people bugging me for too much intel and um uh you know nothing i do I, you know, I'm a mom and the, you know, it's your job as a mom to not be cool. So my kids are not going to be asking me questions because they, <laughs> they don't think I'm cool to begin with. So I didn't have to worry there. Cada viernes llegará a Disney Plus un nuevo episodio de WandaVision y tú no te pierdas los detalles en de película. Yo soy Gaby Cam, nos vemos la próxima. that well.